wanted to film a quick intro. This is my very first Shop My Stash video. I want to make this a regular part of my channel. It's definitely something that I have done on a regular basis for probably the last year, just to rotate through my collection and pull in new products. So these are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube because it gives me a sense for people's collections, what they're liking, what they're quickly decluttering because it's not working for them. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I will definitely be filming more of these shop my stash videos in the future and comment down below on things that you have been trying or products that maybe have been in your collection that you've been rediscovering and loving. I definitely love hearing from you guys on what's working and what's not. But without further ado, let's get into this Shop My Stash. Since this is my first time filming this, I want to give you a quick overview of how I organize everything. So I have primers tucked back here, eye products, mascaras here, concealers and brow products and sort of some lip things here. Over I've got foundations and powders and bronzers and highlighters, blushes, pretty much if it goes on my face, it's here for the most part. And then if I pan down, a little bit. I've got eye products here and then lip products down at the very end. So this drawer is looking super messy right now because I haven't done a full clean out in a while. I keep adding things to this and haven't been taking things out. I'm usually pretty good about every two to three weeks coming in here and pulling everything out and switching out my makeup and I want to get in a better habit of it and also filming it because I really enjoy watching these videos. I think how I want to do this is similar to how Lisa Stevens does hers. I want to zoom you in. I want to quickly talk about the products that are in here, declutter things that I don't like, put things away that I've been using a ton so that I can then go into my collection, both new and existing products, and pull in some new things for the next few weeks. I probably do this every... I don't know, it varies, probably every three to four weeks. I don't have like a set time frame. It's really once I feel like I've gotten good use out of this makeup, I will go through and uh, pull new things in. So rambling, let's go ahead and dive into the first section. So unfortunately, this drawer does not have a space for really big, bulky eyeshadow palettes. So a lot of times they just end up sitting on top here. It's unfortunate, but it's what I, it's the space I have to work with. So I'm gonna set this one aside to talk about with eyeshadow palettes later. Uh, and then let's just work front to back. This isn't necessarily how I put products on my face, but it's how I have it organized. Um, so here are the concealers that I've been using. I've got a couple of them in here. Let's do one by one here. One is this Maybelline Age Rewind. I've just about gone through another one of these. I don't have a ton left in here. Uh, I, I'm gonna set this one aside because I may keep this one in here for another round and just try and finish it up. We'll see. This is the BH Studio Pro Cover Pro Cover Concealer. Uh, I like this. I don't love it, but I do want to play around with it some more, but I feel like I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I'm gonna put this back. This Revlon Photo Ready Color Correcting Pen, I tried. This is new onto the market. I just felt like it did absolutely nothing. I also just felt like it was a very thin formula. So when I blended it out, not only, I just, it just blended away to nothing, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna actually declutter this one. This Laneige Cushion Concealer, I just talked about this in a Korean beauty haul. I don't know if this is gonna go up before or after that, but that is coming. I love this thing, sneak peek, uh, but I've used the heck out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back for the time being. This is my Glossier Stretch Concealer. It's incredibly emollient, and what I mean by that, it's very, very, very hydrating. So I like this one in the winter. I think it gives good coverage, but it's definitely one that I have to set. So I will probably reach for this in the winter when my eyes are really particularly dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. I did play around with this quite a lot. Let's talk about some brow products because that's the other thing that's in this well. So one that I was testing out that I don't necessarily love, this is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Um, this is the shade, I think this is medium brown. My problem with this was it's very, very stiff, uh, like almost too stiff if you can see that. Like it's just not depositing color well and I really had to dig at my eye in order to make that work. So this is gonna be a pass for me. I was hopeful that this could be like a brow is dupe, but it just doesn't work couple brow products that I will leave in here. One is this IT Cosmetics Brow Power. This is in Universal Taupe. 
Uh, I really like this. And then this is the Brow Archery by Soap and Glory. This has been like my day to go, daily go-to. It has a pencil on one end and a gel on the other. So those are going to stay in along with my Essence Make Me Brow. I'm just about done with this, so I'm going to probably have to pull in my backup here maybe in the next few days. And one other concealer I forgot to mention, this is a stick concealer from Revlon. It's their Photo Ready Concealer in Light. Um, I like this for spot concealing. I use a little baby brush to pick up some of this product. So if I have any um, acne spots I want to cover, this is always what I use. So this never leaves my drawer. So that will stay in. Another thing that's staying in down here, this is my Laneige sleeping mask, lip sleeping mask. I like to put this on while I'm getting ready to moisturize my lips. This little guy is a Catrice Prime and Fine Instant Line Smoother. This was actually meant to go underneath your eye or underneath your concealer on your eyes. Um, it's kind of like the Professional, to be honest. It has that same feel to it, same color. Uh, I just didn't really feel like this did anything for the fine lines underneath or for the fine lines under my eyes and then it really did mess with my concealers quite a bit so this is going to be a declutter for me. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner in Espresso. Um, I did use this so I'm going to go ahead and put this back. All right on to this well here. Uh, this is my Urban Decay primer potion. This stays in. This is the Milani Shadow Insurance or Shadow Primer. These are probably my go-tos, although to be honest, I do prefer the Urban Decay just because it gives me some coverage and this one's pretty much clear. So this one will cover up veining and this one does not. So, but I do like them both and they both stay in here. Uh, these are some liners. So a couple that stay in here all the time are the Physician's formula eye boosters in brown and black. I always have those in here. And then another liner that I've been using as well is the M Cosmetics liquid liner. I really did enjoy this one. So I think these are pretty comparable products. I like them both quite a bit. I think I'm going to leave my physician's formula one in here and actually work to use it up. This thing just does not want to die. I'm going to put this in my backups in my drawer. Um, I, this is what I will use up next before I go and repurchase another one of these. Um, they are a brush tip liner, both of them. I should have mentioned I prefer that to felt tip. So yeah, we're just gonna put this one back. These are four pencil eye pencils that I was testing. Two from Flower, their their new longwear pencils, and then two from Sephora. These are their waterproof pencils, the Sephora collection ones. Um, I liked all four of these. I only keep like normal eye pencils like this in this drawer when I'm testing them. Otherwise, they stay in a little bin to the side and I just reach for what I need on a regular basis. So I don't typically select liners for this drawer unless they're new testing ones. Hopefully that makes sense. Liners that I tested from e.l.f. that I'm just kind of meh about. These are their new glitter liners, I think. This one is a silver one. Uh, it doesn't pick up a ton of silver glitter, I think is my problem with this one. I was kind of hoping these would be dupes for the Urban Decay glitter liners. That one's not bad. I don't know. I was more hoping to use these not necessarily as glitter liners, but as a glitter topper over my eyes. I just, I'm not in love with either of these, to be honest. So I think I'm going to put these in sort of a what's new at e.l.f. kind of video that I've got planned, but I don't know as if I'll be keeping those. All right, pile of mascaras over here. I don't typically have this many. One that stays in all the time is my Water CoverGirl Club Crusher Waterproof. This is my bottom lash mascara every day. Two in here that I want to use, that I'm working through using up. This is the Fiona Styles um, Ultra La Ultimate Lash Icon Volumizing Mascara. This is harder to get your hands on because they stopped carrying it at Ulta, but I love it. And then this is the Koki Volumizing Length Mascara. I love this. I think this is a close dupe for the It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara, which I have a little baby sample of. So this is my Etude House Doctor Mascara Fixer Perfect Lash Volume Up Curl Fix Coating Mascara. So this is actually like a primer. It's like a clear gel and you put this, you curl your lashes, you put this on and it almost acts like hairspray to 
keep your lashes curled. I really do think this works. Um, I don't use it every day, but it is something I enjoy and I just keep in here to have it at the ready. Here are three mascaras that I had like little trial sizes of that I was testing out. Um, the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash, I didn't really care for. I didn't think it really did much for my lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. The Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, I did like this, but I feel like it may be a little heavy on my lashes and for someone who struggles to keep their lashes curled, heavy mascaras are kind of our nemesis, but I've only tried this a couple times, so I do think I'm going to leave it in here and play around with it a bit more. The Lancome Big Monsieur, or Monsieur Big rather, um, I did really like. I think this is pretty much a straight up dupe for the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. So this is a lot of mascaras, but for the time being, I think I'm actually going to keep um, all of these in here and play around with them a little bit more. Back, in. Back here are face primers. These I'm just going to pull out. Um, this is the Flower In Your Prime Illuminating Primer. This was just okay. Um, it is slightly moisturizing, but not a ton and it's slightly illuminating, but not a ton. And I guess I just feel like when I want an illuminating primer, I will back in. Back here are face primers. These I'm just gonna pull out. Um, this is the Flower In Your Prime Illuminating Primer. This was just okay. Um, it is slightly moisturizing, but not a ton and it's slightly illuminating, but not a ton. And I guess I just feel like when I want an illuminating primer, I want it to really be illuminating. And when I need a moisturizing primer, I really need it to be moisturizing. And this just didn't do either one of those well enough for me. So I think I'm gonna pass this one along. This is my IT Cosmetics number 50 serum. This is the Anti-Aging Collagen Veil Primer. Oh, bloody hell, I love this stuff. I probably need to put this back though because I just wanna use it every single day. It's really nicely hydrating and smoothing. It's not pore filling per se, but it's really smoothing. I think it does an awesome job underneath every single foundation. I love that it's got a zillion health um, skincare benefits to it, so, but I need to put it back and try something else. This is my Sunsprise sunscreen that never leaves that's always back there this is my winky Lux whipped cream primer this is like a pore filling smoothing primer it's really strange though let's see if i can get this to focus it's like this whipped texture that's really strange um i don't this didn't blow my mind but it also i think does work and for the price i paid for it i do think i will keep it in my collection uh, I'm just going to put it back for now. And then this is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. This was recommended to me at the store. Um, it's hydrating. It's not as stroby as the strobe cream, so it comes out kind of like a gel. And it's very hydrating. It does have tiny, tiny micro shimmer in here, not enough to make me hate it. Uh, but it is super, super hydrating, and I think I might like this. So, so I think I might like this in my, so I think I might like this because it's the winter time. Uh, I may keep this in here. I may put it back. I did use it quite a few times, so I do feel like I got use out of it. I don't know, this is a maybe. I want it to really be illuminating. And when I need a moisturizing primer, I really need it to be moisturizing. And this just didn't, do either one of those well enough for me. So I think I'm gonna pass this one along. This is my IT Cosmetics number 50 serum. This is the Anti-Aging Collagen Veil Primer. Oh, bloody hell, I love this stuff. I probably need to put this back though because I just wanna use it every single day. It's really nicely hydrating and smoothing. It's not pore filling per se, but it's really smoothing. I think it does an awesome job underneath every single foundation. I love that it's got a zillion health um, skincare benefits to it, so, but I need to put it back and try something else. This is my Sunsprise 
sunscreen that never leaves that's always back there this is my winky Lux whipped cream primer this is like a pore filling smoothing primer it's like this whipped texture that's really strange this didn't blow my mind but it also i think does work and for the price i paid for it i do think i will keep it in my collection uh i'm just going to put it back for now and then this is the mac prep and prime natural radiance base this was recommended to me at the store um, it's hydrating. It's not as stroby as the strobe cream, so it comes out kind of like a gel. So I think I might like this because it's the winter time. Uh, I may keep this in here. I may put it back. I did use it quite a few times, so I do feel like I got use out of it. I don't know. This is a maybe. The other things back here, I won't touch on this probably in the future, but the other things that are back here are just some blotting sheets if I ever need them. This is an e.l.f. liquid lip primer. I do like to use this underneath liquid lipsticks when my skin is dry. And this is an e.l.f. eye refresh. I use this um, when my under eyes are looking particularly dry and tired. And then this is an e.l.f. Um, lip scrub. Um, so if I come in here, my lips are looking particularly nasty. I will use that. The other thing that was in there was actually a baby uh, prep and prime natural radiance. So uh, I think I'm just gonna put this with my travel primers. Okay, one section over here. This is where I typically keep all my face products. Uh, foundations. This is the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Foundation. I love this stuff. I talked about it in my Sephora haul video. I'll link that down below. This is the Stellar Foundation. I hadn't tested this before my Sephora haul video was recorded. I've since been using this. I bloody love this stuff. Like, it's, oh, it's really good, guys. I really love this stuff. It is a natural finish. It looks like an HD kind of foundation, but I've had real problems with some of the HD foundations not working on my skin. So the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation never worked well on my skin. The Wet n Wild New Photo Focus foundation, very similar, very lightweight kind of HD foundations. They never set on my skin. They always just sat on top and then slipped and slid around. This gives a very HD finish, natural, not too glowy, not too matte, but it doesn't have some of the ingredients in there that I think I struggle with in those other foundations. I don't know. I'm gonna set this one to the side. This one I may keep in. This is the MAC Mineralized Moisture Foundation. This is one I reach for when my skin is super, super, super dry. Um, this may be one as the winter progresses I pull back in, but I'm gonna put it back for the time being. This is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream. I also talked about that in my Sephora haul video. I have really enjoyed this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Oopsie. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. I have a love-hate relationship with this product. I actually think the product inside is pretty good. What I'm struggling with is um, two things. One, I hate this sponge on the top for a zillion reasons. You've got this hole in the middle of the foundation where it comes up through. And the problem is, is that even when you're done, you put it in and you've got this, in the lid, you've got this like little acrylic stem that goes back in it. Every time it pushes foundation up, through the sponge when the cap goes back on and then it dries. So now if I wanna use this again, I have to wipe this like crusty foundation off the sponge. The sponge is no good for applying makeup anyway. So I don't love that. Um, the other thing I struggle with is that I think this has to be shaken up. There's a few times where I've squirted this up and it's been watery. So I feel like it's separating down here in the bottom. So, but I have a hard time shaking it up. So sometimes when it's watery, I just have to like squirt it up and then wipe off this cap. Oh my, this, the base foundation was actually really good, but you just have to overcome so many bloody hurdles to make this work. I'm really torn because on days when I've just gotten the foundation out of the bottom, I've loved how my skin looked. Do I love it more than this or equal to this? No. I don't know. I, I think this one is going to be a pass for me. I think I'm going to declutter this one. So this is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. I only played with this a handful of time. It does have a really nice pump. The shade match was pretty good for me. Um, I didn't hate it on my skin, but it also didn't blow me away. I think I'm going to put this back for the time being and then pull it out again, um, maybe in a few rounds to try. All right, bronzers I had in here. My butter bronzer. I loved this. I used the heck out of it. I'll put this back. The Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer. 
A lot of people hated this because it had that pink or that peach in the bottom. I think this only works for fair skins and maybe only fair skin if you've got cool undertones. I loved this color on me, but I can definitely see how people with even light skin tone wouldn't get much out of this bronzer. For me, this is a total pasty white girl winner, so I'm going to hang on to this. And then the last bronzer I had in here was actually my e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer. Um, I love this bronzer. I think it just blends so well on the skin. Love this, but I'm going to go ahead and put it back. Setting powders. I was testing out the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in Fair. Uh, I do really like this. This is I've seen a number of people rave about this powder. I do think it's really nice. Do I think it's that much more awesome than some of my drugstore ones? Probably not. It's one of those powders that never looks powdery but gives you a little bit of coverage, so I do like it from that respect. So I don't know. I think I'm going to put this one back and then maybe pull it back out and do like a head-to-head -head challenge with some drugstore ones. This is adorable. This is my Besame Snow White Compact. This is their Ever After Translucent Pearl Powder. Um, it's so cute. First of all, it's got the, that's hard to pick up, vintage sort of Snow White on the front, and then you open it up and it's got a little puff and a mirror, and then the powder underneath is actually a really light sort of translucent pearl powder that gives a slight glow to your skin. This is really pretty, but to be honest, um, I almost don't even want to use it because I want to keep it. Horrible, horrible decisions. Um, so I am going to put this back and just into my collection. And then the last face powder compact I had is this is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow. I love this. I think it is absolutely stunning. I talked about this in my Sephora haul, but I think I'm going to potentially pull in some other powders. This may be in the maybe pile. I actually, I'm going to set this in the maybe pile. I may leave this in for another round. Let's talk through some highlighters so we can get those out of the way here. I had a few liquid highlighters. This is the liquid this is the little baby sample of the Naked Skin Highlighting Fluid. It's just okay. I don't see myself reaching for this. This is in the shade Sin. It's very liquidy. Um, it's just okay. It didn't blow me away. This is my little baby What's Up highlighter from Benefit. I love this. I don't own a full size, but I don't think I need a full size, so I'm going to put this back. This is the Julep Sheer Glow cream to powder stick. This is in the shade Sheer Glow. I just felt like it wasn't quite glowy enough. It just didn't set down to a powder finish quite as well as my Benefit What's Up. I'm pretty particular with the cream highlighters that I keep, and this one was just okay, so I think I'm going to pass it on to somebody who might enjoy it more than me. Uh, powder highlighters I had in, I have this Milani highlighter. This is one of my favorites ever. This is in 01 Strobe Light. I love this highlighter. Um, but I'll put that back. And then the Cover FX Moonlight Highlighter. I also talked about this in my Sephora haul. Um, this is stunning. I love this. Uh, very, very good for natural days. But I'll put this back. And then I also had the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in Starlight. Also one of my favorites. This is a really bright sort of white highlighter. So I'm going to put this back as well. Uh, Let's talk blushes. I had one cream blush. This is from ColourPop. This is in Prenup. I did use this a few times. It's pretty. I mean, it's a pretty pink color. It is definitely a formula of cream blush that I enjoy. So I will put this back and probably use it a bit more in the spring when I reach for these rosy pink colors. And then the rest of these blushes I all I used quite a bit, so I'm good putting these back to pull in some new stuff. This is the Bye Bye Pores blush in Naturally Pretty. I don't think it does anything to pores, but or diffuse your pores, but I think it's a really pretty peachy pink color. This is the Ciate London Into Deep blush that I also talked about in my Sephora haul. Um, I'm wearing this today. It's a really pretty plum color. Um, but I'll put this back. This is the Flower Beauty Flower Pots blush in Sweet Pea. I love this sort of dusty pinky lavender color. So put that back. This is the Fiona Styles Soft Cheek Veil in Sweetwater. This is a very neutral sort of very light dusty pink for fair skin. Love this. Probably one of my favorite blushes in my collection. I've used the heck out of this. This is the e.l.f. It's Mellow Mauve. I think it's just their studio line. As you can see, I have made a heck of a divot into this blush, so I want to leave it in, but I probably need to try other things, so we'll put this back. 
And then last blush um, is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Chic to Chic. Oh my gosh. Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in Love Glow. Just a really pretty actual sort of natural color on the skin. I wouldn't say it's a nude color, but I really did like this uh, quite a bit, but I will put this back. Last things in this section back here are some of my loose powders. So one that's always in here is my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is still my favorite powder for underneath my eyes. I was testing out this Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. It's okay, um, but it's talc-based, and I find that talc-based powders um, tend to be more drying underneath my eyes. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I think I'm going to pass it on because I just don't need that many loose powders in my life that I don't absolutely love because it takes me so long to go through them. This is one that I added that I didn't have a huge chance to test so I think I'm just going to leave this one back here. This is the Innisfree Nocebo Mineral Powder. This is with Jeju Natural Minerals. I do want to play around with this some more so I think I'm going to leave this in. Last two sections this is eye products and lip products. This just got out of hand. I really need to do a full clear out of that. But eye products first. This is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. I love this thing. I use this a ton this month. Um, I really love the looks I get with this every time I use this palette. I just think it turns out so freaking pretty. I love the mauves and the pinks. I love the neutrals. The highlighters are really metallic, so I have to use a light hand with them, but I love this palette. I think it's great. Um, we'll definitely keep this one. Uh, Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions talked about this in my Sephora haul. Really love this thing. Really travel friendly. Gonna keep that one for sure. Same with the ColourPop Precious Metal or Semi Precious Palette. Love this. Got great use out of it. That's gonna go back. This is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. I love this palette way more than I thought I was going to. Um, I love the colors in here. I got a ton of use out of this. This duochrome here is amazing. I love this underneath my eye. The mattes were really fun to work with. So all in all, really awesome palette. Uh, let's get rid of the other big palettes. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. This I almost don't even want to put back. Every time I use this, I get the most beautiful eye looks ever but I think there's some other things I need to test. So hands down, worth the money. I understand the hype, but probably gonna put this one back. Along with this one, this is the Nabla Dreamy palette. This one is, I think, back in stock. I don't know if it's sold back out again. This is a palette that I really love that I think is pretty unique to my collection. I'm really happy with it. I love the matte shades in here. I love that purple. You can definitely go cool tone purple and warm. They all play well together. There's not a dud shadow in this palette. So love this palette. I would highly recommend it. This is my color tattoo in Tough as Taupe. I thought I would like this as a base or maybe on its own, but it's actually too gray for me and I didn't really like how it blended out as a single matte shadow on my lid. So I think I'm gonna declutter this guy. This little L'Oreal single, this is in Cafe Ole. This is the perfect taupe shade for me. I love the mono shadows in the matte formula. I do not care for this formula in their shimmers. I just think it's not a great formula for shimmers, but the mattes in this line are beautiful. This is just the little Wet n Wild single in Creme Brulee. This always stays in, so I have it if I need it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mem Mesmerize in Marie Antoinette. This is stunning. I love this shade. It is a beautiful all-over lid shade. Call it a day. Super metallic blends out like a dream, but we'll put it back. We played with it a lot. And then this is the Christian Dior Meteorite, no, Meteor shadow in the Mono Fusion that I also talked about in my Sephora haul. This is beautiful, like adult glitter, super pretty and metallic. Love this, super bougie, but we'll put it back because we've used this one a lot. This is a little julep to a duo. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I really like this duo. I'm planning a whole review of these. Um, this is definitely one I would recommend, especially if you like cooler toned plummy looks, um, but we'll go ahead and put this back for the time being. This is a little Etude House um, for eyes. I thought the colors were really pretty. You've got two matte shades and then a satin and then a slightly more metallic shade. This is not my favorite. I felt like these faded really easily and 
I just have shadows I like a little bit more than this, so I think I'm actually gonna pass this on. This is the Little Wet n Wild Silent Treatment Trio. I was using this mostly for the taupe. In fact, I actually kept the sponge in here because I think it helps to apply this taupe shade really well. Um, this is a definitely more gray toned taupe, so very little warmth in it, but it is a stunning shade. I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm probably gonna pick up the new trios that they are putting out sometime here in the future and then just compare them but uh, for the time being, I'm gonna put this back. This one is a ColourPop palette. These are not all ColourPop shadows. I pulled out the little tray that goes in here and then that way I could fit more shadows in here. I do like all the shades in here. They're mostly ColourPop with some other ones mixed in. These were just some cool tone shades that I thought well, I wanted to play around with that were, some, that were fun. I did use almost all the shades in here several times. So I'm gonna set this aside. I need to go through and organize all of my single shadows this included. Just gonna set this aside for the time being. All right, this little bin here, there's three bins. It's overflowing. I usually have some thought process for how things go in here. Yeah, let's just dive in. Let me grab the pencils out real fast. So similar to eye pencils, I only keep lip pencils in here if they're new to me and I need to test them. The rest of them are in my lip tray and I just grab the colors that I need on a daily basis. The Huda Beauty and Muse, I love this. I'm gonna keep it. And then this is the Bite number 36 that was in the Bite lip kit that I talked about in my Sephora haul. Love this. This is from Flower Beauty. This is their new Petal Pout Liner. This is in beige. I like the formula. I'm really disappointed because I thought the shade was going to be this color. You can see that. The color of this pencil is so, it's like skin color. Like, I don't know. I thought I was going to get a lip pencil that was the color of the container. And instead it's this like strange flesh looking color. So, I like the formula, it feels nice, but I can't think of any time in my life that I would ever need a lip liner this color. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Oh, let's just start grabbing stuff. Marc Jacobs uh, Enamored Lip Gloss. I used the heck out of this, I love it. I'll put this back. Bite Beauty Crayon that I talked about. This is really pretty, this is an Amarone. I'll put this back. Bite Beauty Champagne Pearl. I did use this as a topper, I enjoyed this. I'll put that back. These two Huda Beauty ones, this is the topper and this is the shade Muse in her liquid lipstick. Used these, we'll put those back. Tarte Tartus Lip Paint in the shade Delish. I love this color. I did not like this formula. It was way too drying, settled into lip lines, so I'm gonna declutter this. This is the Mana Kadar Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. This is a beautiful color. This is one of those super opaque lip glosses almost just like a liquefied lipstick, honestly. Uh, I did really enjoy this. You can see how pigmented it is. I don't think I would purchase this in darker colors, but I do enjoy this. I'll put that back. These two CoverGirl Metallics Melting Pouts, I'm gonna put those back. I did use those. Uh, this is the Julep Ultimate Apricot liquefied mousse. I like this color. It's a really pretty apricot. This is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in Saint. Uh, I don't think I used that. I may leave that in. This is the Sephora Gel Gloss. Uh, this is okay. It's not my favorite formula. It's a little sticky, so I think I'm going to pass this one along. Didn't care for it. Uh, two Wet n Wild lipsticks in the flesh and bear it all. I do really like these. I really hate the packaging, so I'm going to keep those. This is the Bite Multi Stick in Cashew. This is what I'm wearing today. I love this as a lipstick. Not really on my eyes or cheeks, but I'll keep it. Some MAC lipsticks. This is the shade Amorous. This is a beautiful cranberry. I just got this. I've worn it once. Uh, I think I want to leave this in. Set that to the side here. And then this is the shade M, just like six M's. Uh, this is a really pretty nude rose shade. I really like that, but I used that a ton. I'll put that back. And then this one is a newer one for me as well. This is a cream sheen in Nippon. And this is a really pretty sort of peachy sheer shade. I think I may use a ton out of this in the spring. Um, I didn't really enjoy this, but I'll put this one back. I used it a lot. This is the Marc Jacobs Goddess Lipstick. This is bright red. I wore this once. I want to wear it some more, so I think I'm going to leave this in. This is the Smashbox 
Be Legendary lipstick in, I don't know what color. This was fine. I mean, it's sort of a dusty pink rose. I feel like I have a thousand shades like this though, and I don't think I'll be using the sample size, so I'm gonna pass this on. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Siren. I love this. This is one of my favorite plummy, favorite shades for fall. It's like this vampy plum color. I'll put that back. These are three Flower Beauty ones I was testing in Autumn Rose. Uh, Rouge Berry and Berry Amore. I'll put those back. This, these are the NARS Power Matte lipsticks. I have one in red, which is Infamous, and one called Save the Queen, which is Mauve. It's not my favorite formula. I don't hate it enough to declutter it, especially because I can't donate these because they have a wand in them. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna hang on to them. These are the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lips. I use the dark shade quite a bit. I'm gonna put that back. This nude one, ironically, I didn't get a lot of use out of, so I think I'm gonna keep that in here. This is the Revlon Plumping Kiss, Kiss Lip Cream. This is almost just like a, a light lip balm is what I would say. Uh, I did like this, so I'll put that back. This is the Flower Beauty and Nude Blush. I love this formula, but to be honest, I don't really like this shade. It's too pink. It's not enough nude, it's too much pink, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one, but I love this formula. I have other shades in this that I will hands down keep. You know, I'm looking at this shade of Saint, and I don't think this is a shade I'm gonna reach for a ton from this nude stick, so I think I'm gonna declutter this one as well. This, these drawers are looking super empty, so let's find some stuff to fill it up. All right, I'm just gonna pull out the tubs from my closet, which is where I keep products I want to try. Um, this here is my foundations and primers. It's out of control. I really do need to test some things. One that I know I wanna try is from Physicians Formula. This is their Healthy Foundation. This is new. And then to go along with that is their primer. This is their Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I'm gonna pull this in. Uh, let's pull this in. This is the Cover Effects Illuminating Spray. I'm just gonna set this on top of my desk because I want to try this. This came in BoxyCharm. Uh, I think I'm also gonna pull in this little Dr. Jart BB Cream. I want to try this. I think it's the right shade. It's light medium. The other thing I think I'm gonna pull in is this Laneige um, BB Cushion. This is their Pore Control. Uh, this is interesting to me because in theory it is a cushion compact that isn't gonna be super, super dewy, that should be more of a natural finish. So uh, I think I'm gonna pull this in. Primers, so I have a glowy primer. I do wanna pull this in. This is the Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Base, so I want that in. And then I also think I'm gonna pull in this No, no Pore Bloom Primer from Touch and Soul. Wanted to test that. And I think that's it for this little container. This container has face palettes, powders, blushes, illuminators, yada, yada, yada. Um, all right, one thing I know I wanna try, this is the Glossier Wouter. I just got this in the mail a couple days ago. So I definitely wanna try this. This is the Bye Bye Pores Press. This is a sample, I've been wanting to try this. Um, yeah, let's pull this in. Let's pull in this ColourPop one. Oh, I forgot to save the name. Tag on it. You have to save the name off the box because they don't put anything on the back of these. I do want to try this sort of neutrally peach blush. I'll pull that in. This is the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush in Just Natural. Sort of a matte peach shade. I'll try that. This is the Lottie London Blush Crush in Drake, which I think is a glowy blush. Grab that. And you know what? Let's pull in this. This is the Physician's Formula. Happy Booster in Rose. This will give me a pink blush. We'll pull this in. This is the Makeup Revolution Drops in Starlight. It's supposed to be like the Cover FX Drops. Pull that in. Highlighters, I wanna try this palette. This is the Soph X Highlighter Palette from Makeup Revolution. She's a blogger, UK blogger. I picked this up. This is not at Ulta yet. I'm hoping it comes, but it is this really pretty blush or highlighter palette. So I wanna play around with this. It looks like it has very high shine form finishes as well as some more neutral ones, some fun colors. So uh, yeah, I wanna use this. I wanna try a couple of concealers. Um, I wanna pull back in these two cover or these two ColourPop concealers. I got the shade Fair Neutral and Fair. Uh, I wanna play around with these some more. I tried them for a couple weeks, but I think it's I wanna give them more chance. And then I also wanna try this Active Propolis Cream Concealer. This is like a 
Um, this is from the brand Hey Honey. Looks like it's a skincare slash concealer, so I want to try this. All right, last bin from the top shelf in my closet. Um, these are lip products I wanted to try, so I'm going to pull in a couple things. I have one lip pencil to try from Koki Cosmetics. Ah, I got another one of those Flower Beauty lipsticks. This is a naked blush, so we'll give that a whirl. Uh, this M Cosmetics in Lip Cloud in Rose Nude. I wanted to try this. I did like this formula, but I'm not. I've not had a nude shade from her, so I'll try that. Uh, also, this ColourPop. Matte X lippy stick in Daydream looked really pretty. Sort of a, I don't know, more rosy brown shade. So I want to pull that in. Um, okay, this Ofra liquid lipstick in Pasadena. I think I'm going to pull in, I'm going to hold on the red because I already have a red lipstick from Marc Jacobs in there. I like having bulbs in there, so this is a Twist and Shine from Giordana. I like glossy stuff like this for just every day running around the house, so I'll pull that in. All right, I'm good with that for now. One other lipstick I found I wanted to try, this is one of the new L'Oreal Color Riche, uh, no, yes, Color Riche Shine lipsticks in this beautiful container. These are new uh, coming out into the drugstore. I picked this off of Ulta's website, um, so I wanted to test this. So this bin has all my single this has all my eyeshadow palettes and single shadows that I want to test. I think one that's calling me since I pulled the eyeshadow palette or pulled her face palette in, I want to pull in this Makeup Revolution um, Sofax eyeshadow palette. I think she built a palette that I would totally do myself if I were given the chance. And these colors just look absolutely gorgeous to me. Great mix of mattes and shimmers. So I think I'm gonna pull this in. Um, the other palette I think I may pull in that I wanna play around with is one from the brand Stellar. This is new to my collection. I've not heard anybody talk about this. Um, this is their Cool Tone palette. I don't feel like there's a lot of Cool Tone palettes on the market. This one seemed pretty interesting. It had an interesting mix of shimmers and mattes. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to play around with this one, so I want to pull that in. I think I'm going to pull in one other ColourPop palette. This is the All I See is Magic Shadow palette. I think we'll pull this one in as well. Oh, I did want to pull this in. This is from Feather River Body. This is one of their cream eyeshadows. This shade just looked insanely, insanely pretty. I wanted to try one of them before I committed to a lot more. Look at this. You guys can see this. Do you see how metallic that is? Like, and opaque? Like, what, what's happening? Um, I also want to pull this in. I just got, just showed up. This is the Tasha Denona. Um, this is one of her crystal top coats. This is in gray brown. Um, this is really interesting. So it's got this really foiled, taupey gray color to it. I thought that might be fun to play with, so I'll pull this in. I do think I want to pull in some of these Super Shock shadows. So I've got two matte Super Shock shadows that I want to test out. This is Hanky Panky, which is sort of a neutral brown. And then Brady, which is more of a mauve brown. Uh, this is a Satin in Truth. I do want to pull that in. Yeah, we'll pull that in. This is the shade Sundance. I've swatched this, but I haven't worn it yet, so I'll pull in Sundance. So three things I found when cleaning some Ipsy bags. One is this Tarte Blush in Feisty. It's sort of a warm nude. I'm going to pull this in. Also going to pull in this Naked Cosmetics pigment. It's sort of a blue, brown, green pigment. Uh, it says MN06 is the color. I have no idea. And then this is a Skin Iceland lip balm, berry lip balm. So I'm going to toss that in the drawer as well. So I'm going to put everything into my drawers. I'm going to kind of evaluate where we're sitting and then decide what other drawers and things we need to go pull from from my main collection. These are my primers and my powders in here and also some oils, face oils and stuff. Um, I don't think I need to pull any primers. I think I've got plenty in there that I want to test. I don't need any more loose powders, and I don't think I need powder foundations. I may pull one other face powder, though. You know what? I haven't used this in a while. This is the e.l.f. Finishing Powder. I did really like this in the lightest shade, so I think I'll pull this one in. 
And I think that's it for this drawer. This drawer is my foundations and BB creams and concealers drawer. I did go ahead and decide to put this Stellar foundation back. This is one of my natural finish foundations, so that's gonna go in this section here. I think I'm good for foundations. I think I just wanna pull one other concealer. So I haven't pulled this in a while. This is my Maybelline Better Skin. I feel like it might be a little too dark for me, so I feel like I need to try it and either get rid of it if I don't like it. And then same thing with this one. This is the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. I don't remember how I felt about this, so I think I'm gonna pull this in and we'll really make a decision on whether or not to keep these two by the end. So this is the top drawer of my Alex 9 system. I feel like I've got a lot of apricot nude matte blushes going, so I feel like I need some more glowy options and then also um, potentially some other types of colors. So I'm trying to decide what I haven't pulled for a while and see if we can maybe do one of those. So I think I'm gonna pull this in. This is Rosa Romantica from Milani. I need to spend some more time with this and it's different than what's in there now. I also think I'm gonna pull in this Lorac blush and Chroma. This is a really pretty sort of winter berry shade. Uh, that will be different in there. And then I also think I'm gonna pull this Too Faced pink blush in. This is in Justify My Love. This gives me a nice bright pink option. So I think that is all I'm gonna pull from here for blushes. So this is my bronzers and highlighters. Um, I have a highlighting palette in there right now, so I don't think I'm gonna pull any other highlighters just because there's so many options in there, but I need to pull a couple of bronzers. So I think I'm gonna pull in this one. This is from the Balm Desert. This is a matte bronzer. Um, it's a really kind of pretty cool toned one, so we'll pull that in. You know, I think I'm gonna pull this in. This is my Revlon Bronze Beauty 24, number 24. This one I think is more of a satin bronzer. I don't remember how I felt about this, so let's pull that one in. This is my single shadow and cream shadow drawer. I don't know if I'm gonna pull anything in here. You know what, I think I may just pull in one eyeshadow base. I think I'm just gonna pull in my Painterly uh, paint pot. I haven't used this in a while. This makes a good base when I really want something to last. So I think I'll pull that in. You know what, let's pull this in. Um, this is the matte L'Oreal shade. I would like to try this in place of the Wet Wild single I have, so I'll pull that in and we'll use that instead. Pull in a more cool tone shade. This is one of those L'Oreal infallible shades. This is in the shade Liquid Diamond. It's kind of a cool tone, purpley silver color. I think the shade may have been discontinued. I haven't played with that in a while, and I do love those kind of colors in the winter, so I think I'll pull that in. And I might pull this, uh, you know what, I'm also gonna pull in this Revlon Color Stay Cream Shadow. This is the shade 740, and it's kind of a similar tone. It might make a nice base together, so I think I'll pull those two in. That's it for this drawer. Below, I have more of my stick shadows, and then some liquid ones here, um, and then extra brow products. Um, I do th need to decide on some of these brow products because I feel like I'm keeping things that I don't really like. I think I'm gonna pull this e.l.f. This is, I think, a brow serum. Super tiny point. I'm gonna try this again. If I don't like it, I'll get rid of it. Along with this Brow Archery uh, Fiber Gel. I'm gonna try both of these. If I don't like them, I'm gonna get rid of them. I think I'm gonna pull this in. It's got a gunk on it. This is the Master Pro Maybelline ink is a really interesting sort of silvery gold color, but this is one I feel like I need to really uh, make my mind up about and I haven't yet. All right, lipstick drawer. I feel like I've got lots of nudes, but this is the time of year where I really do like to wear some more lightweight things as well. I think I'm gonna pull in this butter lipstick. It's kind of a lightweight creamy formula. And a cranberry shade here. This is 107 from the Kate line. Do I want that one or do I want 29? Ooh, 29 is really purple. Yeah, we're gonna pull in 107. Oh, I also wanna pull in this. So this is from e.l.f. It is one of their moisturizing lipsticks in Touch of Berry. Not super pigmented, but I, I like that lightweight moisturizing feel in the winter time. And I think I'm gonna pull this because I haven't worn it in a while. This is the shade Rosewood. This is from the line of makeup that came out from Anthropology. So I think that's good for here. Okay, this drawer is, drawer rather, is lip glosses and lip toppers and some balms and things like that. So uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm gonna 
pull in this butter gloss. This is in creme brulee. This is always a favorite of mine. It's sort of a light pink wash. We'll pull that in. I'm also going to pull in this intense butter gloss from NYX. This is in the shade Tres, Tres Leche. So that is like a full pigment gloss. And I think I may pull this Marc Jacobs gloss in Enamored. It's a really pretty shade on its own. Yeah, we'll pull Enamored. That's good from this drawer. Okay, this next drawer is eyeshadow palettes. I have three eyeshadow palettes in there right now, so I'm trying to decide if I really need to pull anything. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna pull anything from this drawer. I think I have enough larger format eyeshadow palettes going right now, so I'm gonna skip this drawer. The next drawer down has um, some smaller palettes as well as um, some of my extra large size palettes, so it's kind of a hodgepodge. I think I may just pull in I think I'm gonna pull in this. This is my Physician's Formula Canyon Classics. This is an all matte eyeshadow palette. If I'm struggling with matte shades in some of the palettes that I did pull, this is a trustworthy one. So I think I'm gonna pull that in. That's it from that drawer. And then final drawer, this is mostly drugstore palettes. So yeah, this is the Milani palette in 07 matte. This is gonna give me a matte black and a darker matte brown. So I think these two together will give me a range of neutral to warm mattes to work with. Okay, the lighting isn't as great here, but I did want to pull a few things from these Muji drawers. I have a few regular lipsticks, so I think I want to pull in a few uh, liquid lipsticks. One that I think I want to try again, this is from Giordana. This is the shade uh, Tiramisu. It's sort of a neutrally warm color. I want to pull in one of my ColourPop, sh couple, maybe one or two of my ColourPop Ultra Satins. Let's grab Aquarius, so I have a really light nude. Oh, let's try something really fun. Let's pull in Molly. This is like a really pretty purple lavender color. Could be fun for a winter time. I'm also gonna pull in this Maybelline Vivid Matte Lipstick. Sorry, the lighting's not the best here, and it's more of a grayish tone. I wanna pull in one of these uh, Julep. These are their It's Balm lipsticks, and I love these. I think I'm gonna pull in my favorite one, which is Vintage. It's just sort of a really pretty neutral color good for every day. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I'm going to pull from here. I'm going to go ahead and get the door. I'm going to go ahead and get the drawer organized and then I'll show you what we're working with. Okay, so here's what the drawers are looking like. Definitely have a lot of concealers to test, um, but it's feeling organized. Primers fit nicely back there. Face products all fit really well here. Let's scooch down. So face products all fit pretty well there. Um, definitely think I may have pulled too many blushes, but we'll see. <clears throat> Wouder and other loose powders back there. And then down here, I've got all of my eyeshadow, my three eyeshadow palettes that I'm testing, plus the two matte palettes, my single shadows there, my lipsticks fit. I also think I may have pulled too many lipsticks, but hey, what are you gonna do? So there is the whole drawer all set up. I'm kind of happy with how everything is organized. I'm looking forward to trying all of these products. Okay, so quick wrap up to say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly have fun filming these. I will continue to tweak and mess with the lighting, so hopefully the co the quality of these videos gets better over time as I learn how best to film these. But definitely subscribe if you like these kinds of videos, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my future videos. Bye.